I often think about standing on the summit. The pain doesn't matter because it's all preparing me for what I'm about to, to try to do. I really do imagine, you know, as I'm coming up that last little lip to the top of glory, you know, I, I imagine what it's going to be like to, to be heading toward the summit. I am Ellen Gallant. I live in Jackson, Wyoming. I'm a cardiologist here and I am training for my third attempt on Everest. Here in Jackson, it's been fantastic because we already live at altitude. We live at 6,200 feet, which is great. And it's easy to get over 10,000, 11,000 feet, which is always good for training. The two prior years, I was doing a lot of long road bike rides, mountain bike rides, trail runs. This year, I'm still doing that, but I've, I'm doing much more um, stuff at the gym. So quads, hamstrings, calves to make them strong. I have this amazing trainer here at Gym 22. Um, and he pushes me and makes me do incredibly hard things. Uh, and, and what I think about is there's nothing that I'm going to go through now um, that's going to compare to what I'm about to go through on Everest. I've been hiking glory for months at this point in my crampons. And obviously I'm, I'm probably the only person who's hiking down. <laughs> and so months ago people started asking me, what are you training for? Have your skis on. At this point, physically I'm ready and I think it's going to be a mental thing whether this is successful or not. Particularly summit night is going to be the most painful thing I've ever done and I think that's what I find most interesting about it is whether I'm capable of pushing through the pain. One friend in particular who I climbed Vincent with in Antarctica a couple years ago, his comment to me was um, on summit night there will be a thousand reasons to turn around. And you need to remember the one reason to keep going. <laughs>